talk about that. Next match probably was my favorite match of the night. It was Frank and Weenie versus Samoa Joe and <laughs> Magnus. Frank and Weenie, as you guys look, listen to all the show, is Kazarian and Christopher Dales. K- Kazarian and Christopher Dales are hilarious together. I don't know why Christopher Dales either threw the, the, the he kept shaking shim- his, his waist. He kept made absolutely his no head. sense. It was like, why uh, are you doing this? He's the new Phoenix of TNA. They came out in Avengers shirts. Because this is the night after the Avengers release, which made a gaggle of money. Too much money, I like to say. <laughs> it, made too much, it made too much money. That's all I'm saying. 200 something million, Ryan. Broke all records. Well, anyway, anyway Joe was over, Magnus was over. Um, the, uh, Kazarian cut a promo about how he hates being back in California, although he's from California. And unfortunately, Barash promised me that they tore the house down in, uh, in Ontario. It was a good match, but it wasn't really house tearing down. Well, that was last night in Anaheim. I don't, you don't know what Joe did in Anaheim or in Ontario. Mm. So, you know, maybe he tore it down. Maybe it was a singles match. But um, what I got for this match, Bruce Badgers looked like an action figure in the person. He's in great shape. And it, it, you need something to chant. I mean, Chad Magnus, this doesn't work. He was in the ring. People could chant Joe versus what's going to kill you. People could chant Fallen Angel. Hell, people get it on uh, Champ Frankie. But Magnus just doesn't roll off the tongue. It I worked. Magnus, Mag- let's go, Magnus. It works, man. We, we were trying to start that chant, and it, it was failing. Can I tell you why? Because half the people in the audience probably don't know who the hell Magnus was. And, and I, I will talk about that when I get later on to the show. Last match, RVD versus Robert Root. Robert Root, perfect kill, does a lot of spinning. Him and this lady was getting into it the entire Oh, he was uh, vicious to her. RVD just looked like he was RVD. He had more effort than Kurt Angle, but at the same time, it was RVD. RVD won afterwards. If Marcus, uh, he was the one who signed the autograph for twenty dollars. The line was not that long. It wasn't like Kurt Angle at Anaheim as well, Marcus maybe posted a picture of me and him and Kurt Angle at Anaheim. If I scanned it, there you forgot to bring up something. What the lame ass band. I didn't want to even bring no. I didn't want to get those people. No, credit. no, there was this band for RBD. We know Rob Van Dam. It goes like this: Rob Van Dam, the whole Urban show. Rob Van Dam, Five Star Fox Blast. It's the worst song on the planet, and for them to have a damn band there made me sick. I hate you. <laughs> and I had to hear it for it seemed like an hour. And, and he knew he wasn't going to lose because he had the band. So, Marcus, overall, what was your impression of the TNA live show? Well, I would say I did have a good time, as I always do. I threw up my voice, had a good time at the show. But I still think it could have been better. I still feel if I could have got some X Division matches or more people, less, or some better knockouts <laughs> or anything like that. Uh, but I still think I had a good time. I don't think I would drive to Beckersfield again to go see a TNA show. It would be I would go closer to my facility. Well, for me, my biggest gripe with the show is not the Bakersfield drive. I thought that was fine. It was fine seeing the country, seeing the hills of California it was nice. My issue with the show is that it didn't feel like a TNA show to me. It felt like uh, I'm glad. It felt like no, no, no. It felt like a WWE reject show to me because Ooh. when I went to the Anaheim show and, and I, I made notes, th- this was the card I got. I got LAX against Curry Man and Eric Young, TNA guys. I got Beer Money versus Team 3D. Beer Money is TNA. Team 3D is their Universal Tag Team. I got AJ Styles versus Christian. I got Kurt Angle versus Joe. That felt like a TNA card. This one, you know, that's a brilliant This one, you had, you had Pope. You had Winter and Tara. You had Anderson. You had Angle, Hardy. And you had RVD. These are uh, so many former WWE stars. And on top of that, my biggest gripe, besides the other gripe I just said, you had people on the live show who are not even featured on Impact. When is the last time we've seen the Pope, Winter, and Tara? We <laughs> haven't seen them. And this is like, then you have Robbie E. He doesn't even have a big Robbie T with him. I'll be like, if you're going to do a show, <laughs> at least follow the gimmick of your television show. He didn't even show. have a clipboard. He didn't even have a clipboard. And, and I mean, the thing about it that just drove me nuts is just like it had no consistency with the impact show that was going on. And then they had to tell you, oh, like JB, the hardest working man in TNA, he takes pictures, does ring introductions, 
and he hyped up the crowd. Hard to AJ Styles, Barbara Pat, out to Jeremy Borash. But the point is, there's like no direction. I feel the house shows to match somewhat what's going on with your television I don't show. Know. Not to mention that it was kind of short. It was extremely short. The show was shorter than our drive, which is crazy. Yeah. But for the ticket, for the price of the ticket, it was okay. I just wish it would have had more of a TNA feel. It hurts I don't me. Want the TNA it, feel. I just wish they would. I would have got some of the the people, like some of the bigger stars, or I kind of want, you know, maybe uh, AJ Styles. It hurts me that uh, Motor City Machine. It hurts me that AJ wasn't there. A double. Motor City Machine. It was like nobody from the X Division. Bully Ray. I was just like, where are the stars today? Where's Matt Morgan? Where's Hogan? I'm just playing. And the thing about it, we thought we were going to get Hernandez. We didn't even get Hernandez. It was single to Mayo, and I couldn't get Hernandez. (laughs) But with all that being said, I will give TNA credit. They do everything in their power to make sure their fans have a great interaction when it comes to dealing with the wrestlers. Marcus got an autograph from Tara, you know, Habner, whatever her name is. It it wasn't uh, really an interaction. It was more of she scribbled something that maybe or may not be her signature. Well, the point is, it still made you feel like you were part of the show. I mean, what Pope did and how they were interacting, I thought it was a good time. I'm assuming that's what happened at indie shows. And I would say if TNA came to a close vicinity, I would go again. Yeah, but, um... Back to, um, but the most shocking thing about him is how, how good of a heel Robert Roode is. Robert Roode's a great heel. Take it. Wanna know why? Brian's lying. Marcus, we're bringing over here. 
he had this advantage. He's tall. He has long arms. He reached up and he grabbed it. But he still I took mean, advantage of a little girl. No, he did not. Oh, he didn't? No. Little well, girl, man, she's at least 5'4".